Karibu tena mtazamaji na shukran sana kwa kuendelea kutazama taarifa za mbiu ya KTN. Seneta wa kaunti ya Nandi, Samson Kiprotich Cheral Gay, amekitaka chama cha Jubilee kutahadhari sana kuhusu uhusiano baina ya Rais Rukenyata na kiongozi wa NASA Raila Odinga. Cheral Gay alizungumza katika kaunti ya Nandi. kwa kwamba taarifa hiyo tutaipata katika muda usio kwa mrefu. Tuelekee katika kaunti ya Samburu ambapo wakazi wa Samburu Kaskazini wameitaka serikali kuwekeza katika ujenzi wa mabwawa ili kuvuna maji ya mvua na kuyahifadhi tayari kwa wakati wa kiangazi. Wakazi hao wanasema iwapo serikali itawekeza angalau kwa mabwawa mawili tu itakuwa jambo zuri kwani shughuli za kilimo na ufugaji ziko kwa wingi wakati wa kiangazi wakazi wa eneo hilo na baadhi ya kaunti ambazo zinaathirika pakubwa na ukosefu wa maji huku wakazi wakilazimika kutembea masafa marefu kutafuta maji. <tos> Kwa muda mrefu tumekuwa na shida ya maji kwa miaka mingi na vizima ambavyo tuko nazo ni pesa tunatumia hata mvua ikinyesha inabidi uende kuchota kwa kisima na hiyo kisima ukichota ni shilingi ishirini kwa mtungi tutajaribu kuhakikisha kwamba katika kila kijiji tutakuwa tumejenga mabawa madogo madogo ya maji ili wananchi wa, wapate kuvuna hiyo maji na kuokoa hiyo maji na kugusanya hiyo maji ili watumie wakati ambapo ni wakiangazi tunasema pia e, sehemu ya Samburu County kwa mfano ambapo pale hapa tuko ya Baragoi ni kwamba inaanza pia kumea nyasi aina ya Bamworld nyasi ambayo itasaidia ngombe na saa hii inateremka ikiwa imefurika kufurika maji kielekea upande ya Suguta So mimi ningeomba serikali ya county invest in water water harvesting. Itujengee hata kama ni along the 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 the, the, the Baragoi river along the river watujengee two mega dams. Na tukitoka huko mtazamaji tuelekee katika kaunti ya Taita Taveta ambapo wanawake na wasichana katika kaunti hiyo wameanza kupokea mafunzo ya ushonaji nguo katika kituo ambacho kimeundwa katika mji wa Voi. Wengi wa wanawake hao ni wajane huku wengine wakiwa wasichana ambao walipata mimba za mapema wengi wamekuwa wakihangaika kwa kukosa shughuli za kuwakimu kimaisha ndipo hatua hiyo ya kuwapa mafunzo ya ushonaji ikachukuliwa. Tayari kituo hicho kina zaidi ya wana wake 40 na wanatarajia idadi hiyo kuongezeka hata zaidi. before ni je huko ama single mother mother of a boy i was not able to cater for some for some needs of my boy now because i'm here i've been able to get at least skills those who, which enables me at least when i go out there i can do a job i get i get some cash i'm i'm able to cater some needs for my boy na nashukuru maana hii itatusaidia kama single mothers maana ukiwa huna kitu unaweza kujitegemea maisha yanakuwa magumu watoto wanahitaji karo wanahitaji mavazi lakini sahihi kitoka hapa itakuwa ni mtu ambaye anaweza chukua hiki pata mashini yangu nitaketi nitashona na nitauza na nitaapia mwenyewe nitajishonea watoto wangu pia nitawashonea we are done with our incubation with our uh, education bit where we shall be doing our exams from 16th and we shall move then to the incubation bit where we are expecting the county government to supply us with available tenders uh, for us to be able to to to, in, to 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 improve our sustainability the main idea, idea ni kuweza ku empower wanawake na through hizi skills ambazo wanazopata hapa kwa incubation na pia malengo yetu ni kwamba tu tuweze kujipanua wakiweza hii ni lote ya kwanza na tumeanza na tulianza na wanawake 50 wakiweza kujikuza vizuri na wakifanya mtihani ambaye karibu na kuja kufanya mtihani wa kwanza tunataka tuweze kuwa retain ili uh, malengo ni kwamba tuwe kama tunaweza kuanzisha ka small pizza ambayo tutakuwa tunawaajiri ili waweze kuendelea kuonyesha skills zao 
itakuwa ni muhimu sana kwa kaunti hii all the beneficiaries ambao watakuwa hapa juu hakuna hata ndururu watalipa na pia we have gone into agreement ya kwamba as they finish their training na sisi tutajipanga tulete materials tunataka waendelee na kazi hiyo ya kushonea vitu hapa iwe ni mashati iwe ni trousers iwe ni uniforms zote hata vitu zote za hospitali zetu katika kaunti hii ya Taita Taveta zitakuwa zikishonewa hapa na mtazamaji sasa tuelekee pwani ya Kenya kwa mwanahabari wetu Francis Mtalaki ambaye yuko Mombasa tuweze kuzungumza kuhusiana na swala hili la utovu wa usalama katika eneo hilo ambapo vijana kumi na wawili waliuawa na vile vile kuna madai kwamba kuna vijana ambao wamejitokeza ama wanataka kujisalimisha kwa maafisa wa polisi na sijui basi hali hii imefikia wapi serikali inalichukulia vipi swala hili basi Mtalaki wapo unanipata basi tupe zaidi kuhusiana na hali hii huko Mombasa na mshukan sana Mary Kilobi leo basi tumeweza kuwatembelea wakazi wa bunge la likoni hapa ambapo ndipo matukio haya ya usalama yamekuwa yakiripotiwa kwa muda sasa na kwa katika eneo hili ambapo nipo ndipo wakenya wengi huweza kuja kuendeleza shughuli zao wanapofuka kutoka upande wa pili wa uh, kitovu cha kaunti ya Mombasa kuvuka katika maeneo haya ambapo ndio wanazidi kuendelesha biashara zao nipo na baadhi ya mama hapa labda wanaweza kutuongelesha mami tueleze swala la usalama hapa mnalichukulia vipi tunaorifiwa kwamba katika siku za hivi kabuni kuna watu wanakatwa na mapanga pia wengine wanauawa maoni yako majina naitwa Asenat ningesema kwa upande wa usalama sisi kina mama tunatakana tujikakamue maana tuna ficha vijana sisi wenyewe sasa kijana wao kama ni ana tabia hiyo takana umtoe nje apatikane na uwe na ule uaminifu kusema jambo hilo upate kusaidika unaona maafisa wa polisi pia wanafanya kile ambacho kinahitajika kuweza kushika doria na masuala kama yale eh wanafanya kile kinahitaji maana kama mtu anakuwa sugu sugu zaidi anatishia usalama wa wenzake inabidi sasa achukuliwe njia mbadala ya kumrekebisha wewe maoni yako kianza na majina? Oh Paul, mimi naogopa mateja. Mateja naye iko hapa ukibeba pesa wakikuona tu hivi. Teka wanakukata. Sasa hii shida ni hiyo. Yaani wakikupata waki na pesa wakikuona wanakutangua basi unaenda. Wanakukata mara hiyo. Hiyo ndio shida. Na labda pia wakati huu mnalazimika labda kufunga biashara mapema kwa nyumbani. Biashara tufungi mapema si tunafunga biashara saa Unaingia saa ine, unafunga biashara saa usiku. Ukitoka bi, bi, teja iko. Hiyo ndio maoni yangu. Sawa labda mzee wapo unaweza kuja utueleza kidogo. Mm. Wewe unaweza kusema nini kuhusiana na swala la usalama katika eneo hili la Likoni majina mwanzo? Kwa majina ninaitwa Ouma. Naishi sehemu za huku sehemu za pwani huko chini. Shida iliyoko hapa ni usalama. Vijana wako hapa wengi ambao hawana makazi hata sasa hivi ukienda hapa umumu ndani mtaani wamekaa tu hata hakuna kazi ambao wanafanya. Aswa sehemu ambao mimi mwan naisha hapa chini unakuta hata ikifika jioni hata masaa za mchana hata kwanza saa saba wanakaa tu watu na mapanga hapa chini hapa. So sisi kitu ambacho tungependa kuuliza tu serikali tu ni ya kwamba watusaidie maana polisi tunaona wanazunguka lakini sijui ni kazi gani gani ambao wanafanya hapa chini. Usalama ndio shida sana polisi wanazunguka tu lakini kazi ya maana ambayo wanafanya hakuna. Lakini juzi kulikuwa na msako hapa bwana. Msako ndio lakini wale ambao wanashikwa sasa ni wengine. Eh? Sasa maana kuna juzi hata pia kuna juzi hapa juu mali inaitwa Mount Sinai hapo juu. Vijana walipita hapa na mapanga mchana karibu vijana hamsini. na akini, lakini hakuna chochote ambacho walifanya. Hakuna. Wanashika pia unaweza kusema kwamba wazazi pia wamelaumiwa kwamba kwa upande fulani nyinyi hamwezi kuwachukulia hawa watoto kwa vizuri kuwaonyesha mwelekeo. Wengine ni watoto wadogo wa chini ya miaka kumi na mitano bwana. Sasa unakuta baadhi ya hao wazazi aswa wa mama ama pengine na wazee wanakula kupitia kwa hawa hao vijana. Hata baadhi yao hata uenda pia wako umumu ndani hapa hapa ndani. Sasa kitu ambacho tutaomba serikali itusaidie ikiwezekana dawa tu wakipatikana ni kumaliza. Hakuna kingia nyingine. Eh, kunikumaliza? Hakuna mguu. Alafu wewe ni kijana, shida iko wapi bana? 
wapunguze masaya ya kukula muguka kwa sababu wanashinda mchana mzima wanakula muguka ikifika majioni jioni sasa pesa imeisha ya kununua muguka ingine inabidi washike watu ndi wapate ingine na wanunue pia bangi unajua ukivuta muguka enda hapa enda hapa beach ukienda hapa beach utawakuta hapo kwa mabango za beach wameketi hapo saa hizi mchana wanatafuna kifika majioni jioni wanaanza kutokea Wana, sasa hiyo masaa ya kutafuna muguka hii wapunguze alafu kuna pia very high number of ya dropouts kwa shule vijana wanatoka kwa shule wataki kusoma sasa inabidi wajiunge na zile group za kutafuta pesa za haraka hii mambo ya kutafuta pesa haraka watu waendi shuleni saa hizi hapa Mombasa ni vijana wachache sana wanaenda shule hapa hivi lakini hawa ni vijana wadogo bwana ni wadogo ndio lakini pia wazazi pia ndio shida unajua wazazi wanasema tumelemewa tumeshindwa sasa inabidi sasa kama wazazi wameshindwa serikali basi itafute njia zile ambazo wataweza kuchukua vijana na labda wapatie mafunzo fulani polisi pia kwa upande fulani nasikia wanasemekana kuua watu ambao labda si washukiwa nyinyi maoni yenu ni yapi polisi uh, polisi polisi tunaweza sema polisi wafanyi kazi vile inavyoinatakana Polisi ni kuja tu hapa kustua stua ukimpa kitu kidogo anakuachilia enda toka hapa enda kwa enda 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 umpe tu kitu kidogo tu tosha wewe majina yako na maoni yako majina yangu naitwa Willis Ongale Odero kwanza umsa kwa mapolisi umsa kwa mapolisi unakujanga una kwa watu kama sisi wenye tunatoka hapa usiku tunachafunga kazi zetu tunaenda wanatufata si wanatufata sisi unapata sasa kama mimi nimetoka hapa kitu kama saa tatu naenda kwa nyumba nimefunga kazi yangu nikikutana na polisi ananishika mimi na meacha hao vijana wenye wanakesha na mgoka 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 sasa ile andasi yao ikipanda kama wana pesa wanatufata sisi eh Naam asante sana. Naam Kilobi umeweza kusikia semi kutoka kwa kazi wa eneo hili la Likoni wakilalamikia usala la utovu wa usalama lakini pia wazazi kwa kipande fulani pia wakiweza kulaumiwa kuweza kukosa kuwapa wana, watoto ambao ambao ndio wanasababisha uh, baadhi ya matukio ambayo yamekuwa kitoka katika eneo hili la Likoni. Kilobi na asante sana mwenzangu Francis Mtalaki bila shaka ni swala ambalo linawasumbua wengi wakidai kwamba kuna baadhi ya vijana ambao wamejisalimisha kwa serikali sijui serikali inasema nini kwa ufupi tu sekunde 30 je ni ukweli kwamba kuna baadhi ambao wamejisalimisha na ni kweli kuna baadhi ambao waliweza kujisalimisha hapo jana katika maeneo haya ya uh, likoni na katika pita pita zetu ndio tunazidi kuwatafuta wale ambao waliweza kujisalimisha ili waweze kutupa simulizi zao na kisha katika taarifa zetu za baadaye basi mm -hmm. watazamaji wetu watazidi kupata kile ambacho labda wataweza kusema sababu zao na mambo kama yale lakini kwa sasa tutazidi kukitakambi katika eneo hili la likoni na uhondo pia watazamaji watazidi kuupata katika taarifa zetu za baadaye. Na maasate sana Francis. Na mtazamaji tukiendelea na taarifa zetu huku mgomo wa wafanyikazi katika vyo vikuu vya serikali ukiingia wiki ya tano wafanyikazi katika chuo kikuu cha Kisi wakiwemo wahadhiri sasa wanamtaka Rais Uhuru Kenyatta kuingilia kati kwa ajili ya suluhu kupatikana wanachama hao wa vyama vya wasu kusu na kudheha wamesema kwamba wanachoendelea sasa ama kinachoendelea sasa hivi katika vyo hivyo ni aibu kwa sekta ya elimu na kwamba kwa sasa wanafunzi wa patao la kisita wameathirika Tunazidi kugoma kwa sababu government yenyewe haijashughulikia CBA yetu vile inavyohitajika Tunazidi kuambia serikali ikuje ishiriki pamoja na vikundi vya wafanyikazi wakusu wasu na kudheya ili waweze kupata suluhu La sivyo wafanyikazi wote wa Kisi University watakuwa nje haizifanya kazi hadi ile siku ambayo serikali itakuja isikize mahitaji yetu when you want quality education if you want quality you have to give quality service to the members what we want to pass the message because now it's too beyond what we expected we ask the president of the republic to intervene so that we can get back to our workplace we empathize a lot with the students and the workers but then there's little we can do because we are on a worthy cause so please as the government we request that you intervene we end up the normal as is supposed to be this is kama viongozi wa kusu kisi tunasema tukongangari atutayumba yumba we are in a worthy cause we want to relent 
We will pursue this cause until the government comes to the table and calls all stakeholders so that we resolve this issue. This we from the national office have addressed our members in the Kise University branch, that is the members of Kenya University's staff union. And we are happy to report that they have resolved to continue with the ongoing university's strike until such a time the government has agreed to come to the table, not only to table their counter offer to the proposal that the union gave the employers sometimes last year in July. And they have uh, made one resolve that they will not go to work until they have negotiated, concluded, and the uh, management has agreed to implement the 2017-2021 CPA. And I wish to report to Kenyans that uh, I, from the national office, witnessed that there is no any other activity that is going on in uh, Kisi University, including teaching, not only teaching, but any other activity, either in the offices, in the cleaning departments, in the library, in the labs, and or in the dispensary, I'm sure. Tuzamaji awali gavana wa Bungoma Wycliffe Wangamati alikutana na wafadhili kutoka kampuni ya Glaxo Smith Kline kuhusu ufadhili wa mpango wa kuzuia vifo vya watoto wachanga. And we have negotiated the CB. Chip has been very very encouraging and very important for us as the people of Bungoma County because one they have come up with a number of interventions to address the issue of mortality among our babies in Bungoma County. And my understanding from our, um, our chief nurse that, uh, and the CEC and chief officer that this intervention that has been as a result of this partnership between GSK and Save the Children has an impact, has had an impact of between 15 to 20 percent reduction in mortality rates among our newborn babies in this county. Very significant impact, and as a result of that, uh, we have had discussions with them and they have agreed to extend that partnership for the next four years. That is very encouraging for us. Secondly, as the county government of Bungoma, as you all know, uh, among the big four agenda of His Excellency the President of the Republic of Kenya is the universal health care. Uh, I think in the next one week or so, uh, as the chief executive officer of this county will be coming up with a very detailed program of enlisting our households under the universal health care where we're going to partner with NHIF in this, in this county. Na mtazamaji ya sante sana kwa kuweza kujumuika nasi kwa tarifa za mbiu ya KTN na kumea hapa. Ali manzo watafo kwenye studio mwendo wa saa na mbili ya kikuletea tarifa za jukwa la KTN na kisha tarifa za KTN leo na pondoka jukwa hili na liachia wanazilizala viwanjani. Jina langu ni Mary Kilobi kwa heri kwa sasa.